Hey guys and welcome. Happy Friday to everyone. My name is Kendi and I will be teaching a speaking class right now for the next hour here on Verbling.com. Hope everyone is having a beautiful Friday. I know I am. It's a wonderful day. The sun is shining and the topic for today's discussion is art. We are going to go over different idioms that either have art in the word or are related to art. And we will talk about how to use them correctly. Welcome back, Chow. Nice Hello. to see you again. Yeah. Thanks for being here. How's your day been? Uh, pretty good. I'm great, always. <laughs> were, you in the were you in the last class also, or did you take a break? I, I take a break. I ate my dinner, so... Oh, but what, I mean, what time is, what, almost 5 o'clock there? Yes, now it's 6 p.m. Oh, you eat dinner early, huh? Uh-huh, just for this class. Okay, <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for fitting me in and the rest of us into your day. Uh, Alberto, welcome back. Thank you. How... Have you been? Were you in the last class talking about spending money, money, money? Yeah. 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 It's How was it? I curious. <laughs> it was really inter it was really interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what did you learn? Uh, uh, what is strap? Uh, strap? Oh, what? What were uh, extravagant? Uh, the people are, uh, uh, yeah. Yes, people can be very extravagant. Extravagant, yeah. yes. If you had lots of money, uh, like just lots and lots and lots and lots of money, would you be extravagant like that? No. No? No. no. What, what would you spend your money on? Uh, well, perhaps uh, we... Well, if we, if if I are, uh, if I won a uh, hundred of million, uh, well, uh, uh, a bit of extravagant, but uh, but no, no more. Of, uh, I don't know how, but uh, all right. <laughs> Yeah. I'm sure you would find a know. way. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's okay. Um, hi to Vincenzo. Welcome to class. Nice hi, to see thanks. you. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Happy Friday. <laughs> Happy Friday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> how, do you, how do you usually enjoy your Fridays? I spend my time with my friends. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like we, us, we're your friends, right? Sorry, we are your friends, right? You're spending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time. But in this, yeah, yeah, in the morning, but in okay. the evening, I spend my my time with my uh, real friends, mm. <laughs> not with my chat friend. <laughs> we, okay. we we'll take a beer. You have dinner. I, yeah, uh, but I don't know if uh, we we're going to dance. Ooh, are you going yeah. to go dancing tonight? Well, I don't know. Uh, we'll decide uh, after. Mm, yeah. Okay, cool. Well, nothing special. <laughs> nothing. Dancing is so special. We were talking <laughs> yeah. about it earlier. Um, so today's topic is art. All the lessons, or all of my lessons today are talking about art. Um, and we are going to go over some idioms that are related to art. And actually the first one, I guess we can just jump right into it, is have you ever heard of the state of the art? State of the art. When something is state of the art. No. Anyone? Has, have you ever heard? Have, has anyone like, heard this before? No. No. Okay, so... Let's see if I can use it in an example, and you guys would know what it is. Uh, hmm, the verbling technology, or the technology that verbling uses, is state of the art. 
Blu-ray technology is state of the art. Fashion. I'm sorry. Fashion. 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 Yes. Is it the new technology? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, maybe. Um, fashion can also be. Um, so you can also refer to fashion as being state of the art. But yeah, it's the newest technology. Uh, the, okay. the latest and the greatest, right? The latest technology is also the newest, right? Mm -hmm. So we know that late means, you know, it can be like later in the day, right? Mm -hmm. But um, it's, so it's like the end. So we mentioned the late 1960s, the late 1970s, the end of the 1960s, the end of the 1970s. The latest technology is the, the newest. Okay, so what do you guys know of that is state of the art? <laughs> Can you guys? Please. We are you... classical men. <laughs> you guys are old school. Like from the last class, you guys are old school guys. Old school ah, dudes. Yeah. Old school, yeah. Um, yeah, but you live in today's world. Okay, well, can you use it in a sentence? <laughs> what? Okay, I'll ask you a question. What is, and you must have a different answer, what is state-of-the-art technology? Ciao, you're smiling. And maybe the rest of you are also smiling, but I can't see your faces. So I'm picking on you, Chow. Chow, question. What is the um, what do you know of uh, that is state of the art technology? What is state of the art technology? What is an example of state of the art technology? Google, Apple. Uh, I know recently they Google Glass glasses. Oh yeah, what is the what is uh, glass? What is it called? I should know. Yes, I I guess it is named Google Glass. Can you use it in a complete sentence with this new idiom uh, that you now know? Google Glass is a is a state of the art. Yeah, it's so it's an adjective. So it Google Glass is state of the art technology. Mm -hmm. Google Glasses is the state of the art. Do you see? Can you see the the chat box? Uh, yeah. Okay, I say Google Glass is state of the art technology. Technology. Yes. Exactly. What else do you guys know of that is state of the art technology? <coughs> I'm relying on you for answers because I don't I don't know a whole lot about technology. So <laughs> no. Okay, can I try candy? Okay, good. Uh, I I both a new car and uh it is a state of the art technology. Yes, it is state. Uh, so it's an adjective. So it is it state is. of the art technology. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or maybe it has a state of the art engine. Maybe it, I don't know. Can you like mm -hmm. you can you can have lots of different kinds of engines, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like brand new ones. Okay. Yeah, so your car is very state of the art. Okay, excellent. Any That's questions? not really my car. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. It doesn't <laughs> it's matter only an anyway. Example. It's only an example. <laughs> exactly. It, okay. it doesn't have to be true. It's just an example. <laughs> okay. I don't, I don't really care about anything that you guys say as long as you say it in correct grammar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Okay. Um, All right. Any questions on this? Do we understand? Or any questions? No. Okay, the next one doesn't have art in the in the phrase, but maybe you've heard this. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. 
Okay, it's similar you. like in Italian. You have a similar saying in Italian? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. What does it translate to? I, I, can I translate in Italian? Yeah, what does it translate to? Is it exactly these words or does it have a different it's, English? It's exactly. It's exactly. Oh, so can you yeah. explain it for us? What does it mean? Uh, <laughs> I, I try to explain. When, okay. I, when I met a girl, uh -huh. uh, and uh, this girl is probably not a very, a very beautiful person, uh, but uh, I'm falling in love with her, mm -hmm. not for uh, her um, aspect, uh, but uh, for her uh, way of uh, thinking or uh, um, personality. Like personality, yeah, or a uh, way of a smile or something like that. Okay. All right. Yes, Alberto. Good. That's good. That's definitely that's part of it. Alberto, what did you have to say? Yeah, it is inside. I don't know if it's uh, right, but it's uh, it's said uh, in Spanish. Okay. All right. Mm, yes, that's also that's part of it. Ciao. Have you heard this before? Yes, and the Chinese idiom have the similar. Sentence. Oh, it's a it's common thought. Common sense. It's a common uh, thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, it, yes. Okay. The beholder is someone that is holding something. So if I'm holding a bottle of water, then I am the beholder of the water. So um, maybe, yes, beauty is on the inside, but also uh, maybe you you also think this thing is beautiful because in your eyes it is beautiful even the as the, the aspect of it that's a little oral translation even the physical appearance you find it to be beautiful because it's with your eyes so uh, maybe like the example that you gave Vincenzo uh, maybe you you meet a girl and maybe not everyone thinks she's beautiful but you look at her and you think she's beautiful, so in your eyes, she is beautiful. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Cesario says, uh, what is beautiful for me is not necessarily so for you. Exactly. So we were talking about art all day. Um, how can we apply this not just to people, but to art? Vincenzo is calling his friend to get advice. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me welcome Igor to the class. Hi, Igor. Welcome. Yes. Hi, Kenji. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing? Happy I'm Friday. Doing, I'm doing very well, thank you. Wonderful. Why you know, Happy Friday? Because it's Friday. <laughs> so, uh, uh, it's end of uh, the job, yeah. The end of the working uh, days. Yeah, well, I don't know. I'm working tomorrow and on Sunday, and so, you know. But I don't know. It's Friday. <laughs> Fridays are just great. No, not for you? Yeah, of course. So, happy Friday. <laughs> Thank you. You too, happy Friday. Thank you. So, have you been listening? Do you know what we're talking about? No, I just came. Okay, what are we talking about? Can we fill him in? About idioms. Either. Expressions in, in English. Related to what? Uh, to art. It is the day of the art. It is. It is the day ah. of art. That's right. Ah. So um, we are discussing right now beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So what, what is beholder? What is beholder? Who can yeah. explain? The person who who see uh, something, mm -hmm. no? Yeah, exactly. If I am looking uh, at a painting, for example, we're talking about art. If I'm looking at a painting, then um, beauty is in the eye of me. I am beholding this painting. I am holding this painting, 
in front of me. I am the holder of it. I am the beholder. Okay. Yeah. I, I use the example. I am holding a uh, water bottle. I am the the water bottle is mine. I am the beholder of the water bottle. So beauty mm -hmm. is in the eye of the beholder. So uh, each beholder has uh, his uh, beauty. Has his own or her own idea of beauty. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So maybe you think something's beautiful, and maybe Chow disagrees with you. But maybe yeah. Chow thinks something's beautiful, and you disagree with him. Right? It's just yeah. your own um, perspective. It's just your own opinion. So how can we, we relate this to art? We were talking about art, what we like, what is enjoyable to us a lot um, earlier in the day. How does this apply to artwork? Each person see art in uh, his or her perspective. Yes. Maybe for me it's a beautiful uh, Mona Lisa, for you not. So. Do you guys like the Mona Lisa? No, it's small. It's small, okay. <laughs> nah. Yeah. What else? And dark. And it's dark. Famous. It's famous, but <laughs> I yeah. Would you like to have the Mona Lisa up in your house? Nah. Me no. Or, original yes. Yes. The original uh, yes. Yeah. Why? Why? Yeah, because I would can... sell. <laughs> you would sell it. Okay, so it wouldn't go in your house. It would go out of your house. You would yeah. just have the money and just frame the money that you get for that painting up on your wall, maybe. Or buy something else. Buy new walls. Buy a new home. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, anyone here? Uh, so far, the popular answer is no. Does anybody here think the Mona Lisa is a beautiful painting? It's okay. For me, it's uh, okay. It's not something that uh, I want to see each minute or uh, each five minutes, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, it's not uh, something that uh, I do not like. It's okay. Mm, okay. So, so. I, I want to I wanna know, do you guys have art hanging up on your walls right now? Yeah. Only on desktop, on the computer desktop. What is it? What's your picture on your desktop? A flower. <laughs> a flower? What kind? What kind of flower? What color flower? Standard uh, from Windows. Uh, from Windows uh, <laughs> background. <laughs> okay. All right. So you like to look at flowers then, because I think you have choices. You can look at a sunset or a desert, or like blue, or the logo maybe. Right. But you choose flowers. No, no, not I chose this flower. When I installed Windows, uh, this flower was the uh, default uh, theme on desktop. Okay. okay, so you don't really care because you never decided to change it then. Yeah, so maybe uh, five years ago I changed this uh, background uh, every day or every five minutes, but now <laughs> I don't have uh, such mu uh, much time to do this <laughs> and the interest. It does. It does take a long time to change your desktop picture. It's a very long process. I understand. Um, uh, Alberto just posted a link to something. And is this your favorite? Is this what's on your wall? Uh, no, no, it's one of my favorite, but my favorite ah. uh, was Van Gogh. Oh, OK. <laughs> Um, Alberto, have you ever gone to, have you ever been to Amsterdam? No, no. Nah, have, I have to go, I have to go. You have to go and go check out the Van Gogh Museum. It's amazing. Yeah, but, uh, uh, which name is? Uh, uh, Rijks, Rijks Museum, yeah, Rijks yeah. Museum. Yeah, yeah. Um, there are, there are uh, lots of museums in, in Amsterdam. Yeah. Yeah. You should go check it out since you like Van Gogh so much. So Alberto just shared this picture. Can you guys see my screen? Mm -hmm. yes. What do you guys think about it? This is one of his favorites, and it's okay. Don't be afraid to hurt his feelings if you don't like it. I want to know, or let us know. What do you guys think? Do you For like me? this? Would you like this in your in your house? If you like it, what do you like about it? If you don't like it, what don't you like about it? For me, it's so-so as Mona Lisa. 
<laughs> okay, it's so so. Like I do not see uh, something uh, special, and I do not see something uh, ugly. So fifty fifty. Okay, so it's it's all right. It's all right for you. It's okay. Nothing special. What about Vincenzo? What about you? Do you like this? Uh, I, I don't like the drawing. Is it correct? Drawing. This paint. is a painting, I believe, painting. right? Painting. Okay. Uh -huh. I prefer to. Um, I prefer uh, photographies. Oh, you prefer photographs. Yeah. Photographs. Yeah, I oh. prefer photographs. Uh, but it's only uh, my my opinion. <laughs> okay. 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 That's okay. Do you think this is beautiful, though? Maybe. Yes. Yes, yeah. it's beautiful, but I I prefer I prefer uh, I prefer other other kinds of uh, pictures. Mm, other kinds. Okay. But okay. Uh, I remember that I saw um, I saw the Mona Lisa in Louvre in Louvre Museum. Ah, okay. Yeah, a few years ago, and I was uh, disappointed <laughs> because <laughs> only for uh, one thing, uh, because uh, the the Mona Lisa uh, was very small, and yeah. in the <laughs> and in the room uh, there was uh, a lot of people. <laughs> ah, I see. <laughs> and uh, uh, when I when I when I stayed there. Um, the policeman uh, told me uh, hurry up uh, because there are uh, there are a lot of people who can uh, see see who could see uh, the 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 Mona Lisa and uh, you can go in another room <laughs> you must go in another room. Wow, that yeah. totally that takes the joy out of the experience. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is besides the point. Okay, yeah. I've heard the same from people that have, I think a lot of people have this, I don't know if I've ever heard one person say, yes, I loved the Mona Lisa, I was so impressed. I've never heard anyone say this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, the, the, it's a, <laughs> the, her smile, it's a famous smile, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. because it's strange, and a uh, strange smile, and uh, but but uh, I prefer others other things. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Yeah. What about Chow? What do you think of this? Do you think this is beautiful? I think beauty is in the eyes of the beholders. So <laughs> I think I have already implied what what is my preference. And also, <gasps> actually, my my uncle is a great painter about this kind of abstract paint <laughs> and. He's professional, and I can saw many pictures like this one in his house. And, but I just, again, it's, it is not resonating with me. Mm -hmm. It doesn't resonate with you. Actually, that brings me to the uh, another one here on my list. So you used that in the perfect way, right? If you want to give like a neutral answer. You know, Kendi, I really think beauty is in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> Super. Super, good job. This is basically means that uh, he do not like. <laughs> sure, yeah, or maybe um, he's being very safe and he knows other people don't like it and he doesn't want to disagree with other people. We don't yeah, know, it's a mystery. Uh, our people do not like, but he likes. So. so, I don't know, I guess we never know, Chow. Way to be, that's called diplomatic. Way to be diplomatic. Yeah, I see. When you are diplomatic, you are fair and polite to everyone. <laughs> awesome. Okay, uh, but when you say it doesn't resonate with you, mm, you can say it doesn't really speak to you. This is another way of saying that art. Let's say, let's say, art can can speak to someone. If it resonates with you, it's it's the same thing. I mean, it's the same kind of. Uh, if it resonates with you, you agree with it. You like it. Yes. Um, if if art speaks to you, it really tells you a message. It's almost like it's talking to you, and you understand it, kind of. So you, this is another way to say it. Yes, I don't. It doesn't really. It doesn't speak to me, which means that. Sure, maybe it's beautiful. You realize, you recognize that it's well done. 
obviously the artist is very talented. You know, it's a beautiful picture. The colors are beautiful. You know, it's a nice image. But maybe it doesn't speak to you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah? Yeah, like the Mona Lisa. Sure. I mean, it's a beautiful painting, and he did a really good job, and he made her look very real, and the smile is interesting, but, you know, it doesn't speak to me. It's not my it's taste. Not. Yeah. And, um, you could say, yeah, it's not... It's correct to say it's not my taste? You, a better one is, it's not my cup of tea. Yeah, but uh, I correct to say uh, it's not my taste or it's not in my taste. It's not my style. It's not my style. Yeah. But with taste? It's not my taste. Yeah. I don't know why that sounds a little strange to me. It's not my type. It's not my taste. Because... You can have good taste and you can have bad taste, right? Like my friend has great taste in fashion. My friend has great taste in design, great taste in art. Um, so it's not my taste. It's not my style. That sounds better. It's not my style. Or it's not my cup of tea. This is another phrase that we use. It's not my taste. We understand. I understand you. Everyone will understand you if you say it. <laughs> it doesn't sound um, totally natural. Does that make sense? Yeah. And I can see how that gets confused. It's not my taste. Maybe someone is watching and uh, another native speaker, and you guys say that. I don't say that, and I don't know if I um, can hear other people say it. It's Maybe my it's not in my taste. Uh, I mean, uh, that I have taste, but it's not uh, correspond with my taste. I, I want this to say. Yeah, it just it sounds better if you say it's not my style. Okay. It's not my style. Yeah. Um, okay, or another one, it's not my cup of tea. And w people use this all the time. A person can also, they can be your cup of tea or they can not be your cup of tea. Like maybe you don't like someone, but you don't want to say, I don't like this person. You just say, yeah, she's not really my cup of tea. <laughs> He's not my cup of tea. Like not my style. I don't know. Right? So um, do you guys have any paintings or work of art that really speak to you? Vincenzo, you mentioned you like you like photographs. Do you have do you have one, or is there a photograph that you know in the world that speaks to you? I I I, I read um, oh, not I read I show photographs in um, in Discovery Discovery no, in uh, yeah uh, in the Discovery Channel website. Uh huh. Uh, and every day uh, they put online. A photograph mm -hmm. about a world, about a wild, or uh, something like that, and they and there are uh, those are uh, very those are very very beautiful photographs. Mm. They uh, speak to you. Yeah, yeah. I I like the I like colors and um, and I like the wild, and so I prefer photographs. Oh, of wildlife, like animals? Yes, like animals or like uh, flowers or like uh, okay. the, uh, the, the ice on the Arctic Pole or uh, I don't know. <laughs> so nature and nature wildlife. In general. Yeah, nature in general. Yeah. So do photos of nature and wildlife speak to you? Can you yeah. answer this in a complete yeah. sentence? Yeah, 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 okay. Uh, photos and uh, nature speaks to me. Photos of nature speak to you exactly. Okay. And you can use you can use this, of course, um, in the past tense uh, also, right? I saw this photo um, mm -hmm. in a museum yesterday, and it really it spoke to me, right? This photo really spoke to me. Um, I really I really enjoyed it. It really resonated with me. The same thing. Good. Any questions on this one? Alberto is posted, posting lots of pictures. I can't even keep up. Oh yes, this is a photo we were we were looking at earlier. Yeah. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
What was Do the you other like one? Oh, the famous. Uh, yes, of course. Yes. Of course. So something can speak to you. Um, some of uh, uh, a work of art can also mm, grab you or grab someone. And that, what do you think that means? Like a photo or, or a painting or a sculpture or a building, any art, it can speak to you. It, it can also, it can grab you. What do you think that means? It's kind they, of similar they, but a little different. They catch our attention? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. So it's something, it can grab you, but it might not speak to you. Right? Something might be shocking and, wow, it really grabbed me. Mm, but it doesn't speak to me. But it caught your attention. Right? Um, let's, let me stop for one second. Hi, Igor T. Welcome to class. Hi, how are you? Hi, guys. Great. Hi. Hi. Yeah, welcome. Hi, Paulino. Hello out there. Paulino, you're going to make my students want to speak in Spanish. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, the picture spoke to me. Was it a female voice or a male voice? I don't know. That's up to you. What do you usually hear when objects speak to you? <laughs> okay. Uh, do you guys, um, Igor T, do you know what uh, we're talking yet, about? Not exactly. Does somebody want to fill him in? Tell him what we are talking about really quickly? About art idioms. Or, or idiom about art. Okay. For example, yeah. could you give me Yeah. Could you give me guys uh, an example, please? Could you guys give him an example, please? I agree, Igor. I'm gonna ask them the same question. Oh, I just gave you one. What's the, what is the one we're talking about right now? Not speaks to you, but what? A photo. Yeah. yeah. So, can you use it in a sentence, Igor H? That photo grabs me. Uh, okay, yeah. And what does that mean? That I liked very much. I can't uh, uh, turn my eyes off, yeah, or how we can say Away. Can, you can't turn yeah. your eyes away from yeah. it. Yeah, I can't turn my eyes away. Mm -hmm. right. Yes, it really catches your attention. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Um, okay. Let's let's do let's do another one. Um, hmm. Okay. How about? Uh, let me see. Let me get this one. Okay. To put. You might know this one, to put the finishing touches on something. What does this mean? Does this mean you are touching something at the end, like this? It means that you make something in perfect shape. Yes. Yes. Yeah. More specifically, right, you, maybe you are create. so let's imagine we are talking about a work of art. Okay, what kind of art do you like? Do you prefer paintings? Do you prefer sculptures? Do you prefer, I mean, what, what is your, what kind of art do you like, Igor? I like paintings. Paintings? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so what would be putting the finishing touches on a painting? Uh, for my opinion, it's putting the signature behind the picture. It's the final, uh, it's the final step. Okay, yeah, the finishing touch is your little is your signature. Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Exactly. What else? It can be used uh, in, uh, in 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 the kitchen. Okay, yes, how? Yeah. Uh, I don't I don't know I don't cook, but uh, <laughs> I can use <laughs> Who like, cooks, Vincenzo? Who cooks? Uh I I eat uh, in restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. 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 And 
but uh, uh, to put the finished touches on uh, the um, the chef uh, had uh, prepared uh, a cake and uh, he put the finished touches on which are what So okay, yeah, the a chef totally. A leaf of menta, for example. A what? A leaf of menta, menta's leaf, or uh, mint. Mint, mint. Oh, yeah. a mint leaf. Mint. On a cake. Mm. On the cake, for example. Okay. Sure, I love mint on everything. Why not put it on cake? Sure. <laughs> um, really quickly, I want to welcome Omar to the class. Hey, Omar, welcome. Oh, check your microphone. Um, click the microphone above the Verbling chat. It's, I think it's on mute. This happens when you join a class in the middle. Nope. Can't hear you. I can see you. We can't hear you. I see your mouth moving. Hello. But we cannot hear you. <laughs> okay. Um, let me share my screen really quickly. Um, right here above the verbling chat, do you see this button? Microphone right here. Try clicking that. And here are the other settings. You can check your sound settings in here. Right? Your speakers, your microphone. Okay. Uh, so check your settings. I don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, okay. So putting a mint leaf on top of something would be a finishing touch. On a cake, what would be the finishing touches on a cake? Put, for Vincenzo. example, cherry, cherry. You can put cherry oh. on the cake, so it's the final touch. But okay. actually a speaking, you can, yeah, you can say uh, uh, finally touching in everything what I do in with your hands. For example, when yes. you wash your car or serve the table, or you know, or for example, finishing the project, sending the final mail. It's the it's a final touching. It's the the finishing, finishing touch. It's a finishing touch. Yeah. Exactly. So, can you use it in a complete sentence? This whole phrase in a complete sentence. Uh, I didn't understand what once again. Can you use put the finishing touches on in a complete sentence? Ah, yeah, of course. Uh, I put a finishing touches uh, on my project when I uh, sent uh, the mail to a stakeholders. Okay. All right. Exactly. Good. I hope you. That's a great sentence. I don't know what those finishing touches are, but I'm sure we would all be very <laughs> impressed. <laughs> okay. Alberto says mojito. What does that mean, Alberto? You just say mojito. Tell me what that means. What are you talking about? But it's a, it's a mixture of drinks. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> With mint leaf, yeah. <laughs> then. Okay, so what would be the fi putting the finishing touches on or in a mojito? Yeah, the mint leaf is uh, the thing that puts the finishing the, the, the finishing touch on, yeah. Is it the finishing touch of a mojito or do you start with the mint and you mix it all up? I don't. I mean, I don't know anything about mojitos. I don't know anything. I I drink, but uh, I don't know how to make it. <laughs> Maybe okay. it's so. Huh? Maybe it's so. So to drink, uh, to drink a mojito from uh, from the glass. So. So. You know, a pipe uh, when you drink something from the glass. A straw. Not so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't hear correctly. A straw. Ah, a straw. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes. A straw is... Okay, I like that. The straw is the finishing touch. Here, it's ready. You can drink it now. All right. Good, good. Um, all right. Any questions on this so far? I think we understand. It's okay if you don't. Yes. Uh, so, may I have a question? Of course. Go ahead. Uh, so I want to know if the I mean the finishing touch have more weight, more value uh, compared with the previous actions. Because actually we have the uh, same idioms in Chinese. Uh, mm -hmm. There is a painter who uh, draw a 
picture about the dragon, and he put the final touch. He uh, draw the eye of the eyes of the dragon. So, um, and it it increased the picture's value. I mean, hugely. So, yes, and it is just like the punch line. I don't know if I still get it yeah. right. Yeah, it, it's it's the finishing touches. Yeah, and you. Uh, that's a really good question, actually. The finishing touches do add a lot of value. For example, somebody mentioned a drink, a cocktail, and you just give it to if if it's given to you just in a cup, it's boring. But maybe somebody puts mint, and then maybe a little umbrella, and then maybe a straw, and now it's so beautiful, right? So yeah. yeah also, we talked about ceramics. Okay, remember, do you guys know ceramic art? Do you remember talking about this? No. No. No, you guys were in that class. N not yet. Only Vincenzo and Omar and the Igors can say no because the rest of you were in the class. Oh. I wasn't. Ceramic art. Oh, yeah. Uh -uh. Right? Ceramics, can you guys see this? It starts like clay. Mm -hmm. Clay, do you know clay? For example, imagine a table and the table is moving around and around and oh. you are touching it and you can make a bowl or you can okay. make a flower vase or you can make like a, a plate or a cup, right? Yeah. Ciao. Yes? yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. no? Okay. Um, so the cer with the ceramics, it starts as just clay, like you can see the inside, right? This is what it starts. This is like what it looks like. But the finishing touches on this is the painting. Yeah. And the gloss, mm -hmm. the shiny, the shiny clear gloss. So, yeah, I would say that the finishing touches do add a lot of value to something. Absolutely. And of course, a signature by a famous artist would add immense value. So yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's a good question. Any other questions about this? No. no. Okay. Omar, can you can you say hello? Did you get your sound working? Oh no. We still can't hear you. I don't know. I don't know. Play with your sound settings. Maybe it's something in your computer. I don't know, maybe it's not the right microphone that is connected to the Hangout. Um, all right. Okay, so we got finishing touches. What about to stamp? What about to stand the test of time? Like the Bee Gees, right, Alberto? Yeah, <laughs> I remember. Do you, do you think that the Bee Gees stand the test of time? Ah, uh, no. yes. That trousers, so oh, beautiful. <laughs> Elephant trousers. <laughs> okay. Yeah. To be beautiful after many years. Uh, time doesn't uh, change. Uh, beauty, yeah? Yes, yes, exactly. When something stands the test of time, it can last for, like, time is a test. Can you last over the years? Can you, can you be, stay beautiful or stay preserved or stay the way it is over a long period of time? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, we were talking about music earlier. In other words, it can be timeless. Yeah, something can be timeless. It's, so, it could be it could be another uh, polite uh, mode to talk about something. Like what? <laughs> yeah. Oh, like it's me. timeless. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what do <laughs> you not, guys What but, do you guys know of like different forms of art? What do you guys know of um, that has that has stood? The test of time. Mona Lisa. <laughs> yeah, okay, for example, yes, the Mona Lisa and other old paintings, it has stood, has stood the test of time. Yep, 
it's been preserved. People still want to go see it for some reason. None of us understand. <laughs> Kidding. Um, but yeah, it stands the test of time. What else? We were remember we were talking about architecture as art buildings. Are there buildings or old buildings that you know that have stood the test of time? From France, um, that's, uh, what is the name? Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel no. Tower? Yeah. Yeah, the Eiffel Tower has stood the test of time. What about think Actual. way back, really old, think way back? We can talk about the Colosseum has stood the test of time. Good. The Colosseum, yes. These are called ruins. Ruins. Right? Okay. Ruins. What other ruins do you guys know? Ruins are um, <laughs> like parts of old buildings that are still there. The remainders of a city. What other ruins do you guys know about? Chinese wall, for example. But uh, I think uh, we could speak here more uh, philosophically about okay. uh, uh, standing uh, a test of time. For example, marriage uh, stood uh, the test of time. Like a, a specific marriage between two people uh, or, or the institution? Example, uh, or for example, institution, of institution, or family institution, or, you know, uh, generally speaking, it's not uh, about specific object, maybe. Yeah, exactly. You can, you can definitely say that. Like, the institution of marriage has stood the test of time. People were getting married in the past, and people are still getting married today. Yeah. Okay, yes, absolutely. Hmm. Alberto, fashion always comes back. Some fashions can stand the test of time. Do you guys have any um, items in your closet that have stood the test of time? Like a great pair of shoes or a favorite t-shirt or a warm jacket or a hat, something like that? Can you repeat this? Can you you? Do, do any of you in class have something in your closet that has stood the test of time? Ah, yeah, exactly. I have a t-shirt uh, maybe 15 or 20 years and uh, I want to, to drop it away so many times but uh, I like it so much so it uh, stood the test of time very... Not, yes. not once, not once. But I I think uh, it will be a good for example, uh, a good example uh, to say uh, our friendship uh, stood a uh, test of time. Yes, friendship can stand the test of time. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Do you guys have friendships that have stood the test of time? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course, it's so special when that happens. Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, I guess too. it's special. <laughs> Yes? Yes. Oh, good. Good to hear. Good to hear. I yeah. guess that uh, uh, this site will stand the test of time. Let's hope. Here's hoping. <laughs> but yeah, totally think so. Okay. Good. Ciao, what about you? Do you have anything that has stood the test of time? Yes, I have a t-shirt for 30 years. I'm kidding. I... How old are you? Are you even 30 years old? Nope, so I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> nope, so I'm kidding. <laughs> Good. Uh, I don't know, maybe yes, maybe not. Nope. You guys are so hilarious. <laughs> okay. Ciao, you are very lucky, ciao. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, but I get that's that's good. I'm glad because remember, remember. Actually, I don't care about anything you say. I just want to see you use something in a sentence. So that's all that matters. <laughs> so that's also a joke. Okay. Um, any questions on this so far? No. Okay. Let's. Oh. No, no. Yes. No. Let's switch gears a little bit and talk about a different form of art. Have you guys heard this? 
Break a leg. This is something you say to someone. Have you heard this before? Yeah, yeah. to creative people you wish a good luck. To yes. people who are working um, in uh, cinema, in uh, theater, artists. Actors, actors exactly. Yeah. You say this to actors. Musicians. <clears throat> yeah, people who, what kind of art is that? Do you guys perform. remember? Perform, who perform. Yes, performance artists, exactly. You tell them to break a leg. Does this mean you want them to break their leg on stage? No. No. Alberto, did you want to say something? Uh, to be lucky. Yeah, like like good luck. So instead of saying good luck, yeah. do a good job, we say break a leg. Yeah. Does anyone know why we say this? No. 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 And you? No, I remember. I remember knowing before at one point. Now I forgot. So maybe if somebody's watching and they know the answer to this. But, you know, I don't like to Google during class. So, I don't know. I don't remember why. Here is uh, the answer in the uh, link. Origins go. we need to read. Okay. All right. Maybe I'll get to it later. Um, okay. Uh, break a leg, like good luck to actors and actresses. All and right. here is the many origins. German origin, Yiddish, Roman, Greek origin. So... We need to read all origins to understand Definitely. where it comes. Oh, okay. All right. And theories, many theories. Richard. You know, maybe we could just have a whole class about to break a leg. Oh, no. <laughs> it's too much. Yeah, I think so, too. Okay. Um, there's another one I really like, and I think I've mentioned this in a class before. I'm pretty sure I have. Um, To each his own, or to each her own. Have you guys heard this before? No. No. No, nobody? No. No. Ooh, okay. Um, this is one of my favorite sayings in English, and we were talking about being very diplomatic. And it basically means, it's a short way of saying, to each person, his or her own opinion. Okay. Oh, okay. So I you mean. can use this, like, maybe in a debate or some kind of argument or a conversation. And person A can say, yes, I think the, Mo the Mona Lisa is very beautiful. And then this person can say, yes, well, to each his own. Or, yes, well, to each her own. You can have your opinion, and I can have my opinion, Hello. and they can have their opinion. Omar! Can you hear me now? Yes, oh. we can. No, you, oh, my God, finally. I don't know how it works, really. <laughs> what happened? Was, what did you do differently? Honestly, I have no idea. I was just playing in the buttons here and there, and when I, once I said hello, you said hello, Omar, and then said, yeah, I got it now. Yeah, excellent. How are you? Wonderful. How are you, Omar? I think I've seen you in a class, but tell me again where you're from. I'm from Jordan. Originally, I'm from Jordan, but I live in Australia now. Oh, cool. Are you having fun in Australia? Yeah, Australia is very beautiful, especially Sydney here is very, very beautiful. The environment, the nature, everything here is very beautiful. I love, the, I love this country. So is it beautiful? <laughs> What, what is it? So is it beautiful? Yeah, it is. It's very beautiful here. What about you guys? <laughs> Where are you from? Where are you guys from? He's trying to talk to you. Tell him. Hi, Omar. I'm from Israel. From Israel, yeah. What's your name? My name is Igor. Igor. Nice to meet you, mate. Hi, nice Omar. All, all of you from Israel? No. Yeah. No, I, think, I think we have an Asian guy here, yeah? Maybe. Yeah. What's your name? <laughs> Chow. Me? I think oh, they're talking it, to you. Uh, yeah. It is Chow from China. Nice to see you. 
Uh, thank you. Nice to see you all guys uh, as well. We have yeah. lots of other countries represented here. Tell, tell Omar where you guys are all from. Yeah, I hope so. I hope you can hear from them. Okay, Alberto? Yeah. Can you tell Omar? Us? Alberto is from Italy. No. If you, you're not from Italy because your accent uh, sounds like you're from Italy. No. You know, uh, but, but, the, but certainly you're from Go Europe. to the left. Go to the left. <laughs> to the left. In the, the map. You mean the, in the Scandin Scandinavian countries? No, it's yeah. Spain. Spain. <laughs> Spain. Uh, Spain. Oh, yeah, Spain. From Real Madrid, Barcelona, that sort of things. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. those, those what? Things. Those, those crazy places. <laughs> I don't yeah, know what it is. It's Barcelona, man. Barcelona, the the reality. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you, you don't know that. What about, I think we have someone here from the Scandinavian, Scandinavian country. I don't know how you spell it. Scandinavian countries? Yeah, Scandinavian countries. Hey, Omar. How are you, mate? I'm fine, and you? I'm very well, thank you. What's I, your name? I'm from Sweden. <laughs> oh, from Sweden. Ah, yeah. that's really good. Sweden is a very beautiful country. I'm well. Italian, I have, What's he's, your name? He's joking with so. you. I'm joking, Omar. I'm Italian. Ah, you're Italian. So yeah. you see, yeah. I've, I've noticed there is an Italian guy here. So I just mix it up between you guys. <laughs> you know, Italians and Spaniards, I mean, they're practically like the same people. Yeah, uh, I think so, especially when they speak, you can't tell the difference between them. I know, it's, it's like the same thing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, it is. That's a joke. Alright. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, you guys are making friends. It's so awesome. Um, yeah, it is. Very beautiful. I'm glad your sound uh, got to work uh, better now than, you know, never. Yeah. So, does that, we have a few more, uh, just a couple more minutes. Does anyone have any, any other questions? Do you guys understand to each his own or to each her own? This is important. The, the meaning is, uh, is your opinion, something like that? Yes, like Chow was being very diplomatic earlier, and Chow said, yeah. um, you know, the beauty is in the eye of the beholder. He doesn't want to disagree with anyone. You yeah. can use this one also uh, to each his own, and that's all you have to say. right? If they yeah. ask your opinion and you don't want to agree, you can just say, mm, to each his own, or to each her own. You know? Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay, well, I am teaching. I have one. There's a one-hour break. There's another teacher teaching right now. And I will teach again in one more hour. We will have a discussion on art, kind of bringing together everything we talked about today. If you didn't come to my previous classes, it's okay. It will be a good chance for you guys to practice your speaking. So hopefully I see you guys in an hour. And if not, Enjoy the rest of your Fridays, and I will see you next time. Then you have Thank lunch. You so much. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you, guys. Bye. See you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.